Lehigh football grabs its highest ranking since 2005, and the American women's volleyball team steals a win up at Army. All the highlights and more on this week's Patriot League Roundup. Hello Patriot League fans and welcome to another edition of Patriot League Roundup, your home for scores and highlights. I'm Jimmy Johnson. Offense has not been a problem for the number 10 ranked Lehigh Mountain Hawks and on Saturday they added defense to their repertoire. Lehigh forced three turnovers in the first quarter and turned it into 10 points including this three yard Michael Colvin touchdown run. After Yale cut it to 10-7, Lehigh's defense stepped up with a big third and five sack by Colin Newton and Yale missed a field goal on the next play. On the ensuing Lehigh drive, Chris Lum found Ryan Spadola for the wide receiver screen and it went for a while. Spadola had 148 receiving yards on the day and he gets 45 right here. Four plays later, Lum hits Jake Draw on the slant for this 9-yard score and the 16-7 lead. Yale tried to counter on the next two drives but Patrick Witt fumbled as the pocket broke down and with the ball on the Lehigh 35, Witt is picked off by linebacker Mike Groom. Late in the third, Lehigh pulled away. Lum connects with Spadola on this 38-yard completion, setting up a 5-yard fade to draw for the 23-7 lead. Lehigh made it 30-7 on its next drive as Lum dropped in a perfect pass to draw, who taps his one foot inbounds for his third touchdown on the day. Keith Sherman added the exclamation point with this 4-yard run early in the fourth quarter to seal the 37-7 win. Lehigh's defense forced 5 turnovers while Chris Lum threw for 378 yards and 3 touchdowns. Ryan Spadola caught 11 passes for 148 yards, and Jake Draw caught 10 passes for 112 yards and 3 scores. Bucknell football has not been 4-1 since 2001. On Saturday, they had the chance to achieve that record against visiting Georgetown and moved to 1-0 in the Patriot League. Here's Bucknell's Doug Birdsong with the call. Darby goes play action, looks deep down the middle, ball's knocked out of his grasp, and it's going to be bobbled and covered up by the Bison! That's the 16 of the Hoyas, it's Josh Eaton! Josh Eaton does it again! I formation, third and goal, Bucknell at the one and one half yard line of Georgetown. Here's the option, Rock Wesley cuts it to the one, fights to the goal line, he's over for six. Here is going for it, Hoyas, and they won't get it! They tried to hand it off to Campanella, and like a brick wall, Bucknell's defense stood up to the challenge, and Ryan Morgan puts his fist in the air along with Derek Palmer, and Shotgun snap to Darby, has time. Now oh, he's going to be swerved and dropped! Eaton and De La Rosa! Wide outs right, now the shotgun. Here's Darby looking right, he's under pressure. He bumps, and he's going to be dropped behind the line again by De La Rosa! And off right, Smith, he'll burst it to the three, fight to the two, dive over the goal line for six. Defense for the Hoya shifting is a pass for Wesley. Steps up in the pocket, goes deep down the middle. There is a man, he is there, and he scores six. To Georgetown 41, there's pressure off the corner. Wesley steps up, throws it over the middle. It's caught by Walker. He has it at the Hoya 15. He has it at the 10. He sprints to the five. He scores six. Touchdown! again, back to pass under pressure, he'll be sacked for the first time today, Robert De La Rosa will have yet another sack, there's third and 16, pressure again, Kempis sacked by Oyakoya, Wesley under center offset eye behind him, goes with a play action to Smith, has time, floats one deep down the middle of the field, it's going to be complete to Zanick, he'll break a tackle at the 20, he'll sprint to the 10, he'll dive for six, touchdown, and for the first time since 2001, the Bucknell Bison, Move to 4-1 overall as Bucknell gets a very big victory here in Lewisburg. Brandon Wesley ran for one score and threw for three more, completing 11 of 19 passes for 200 yards. Tyler Smith ran 24 times for 114 yards and a touchdown. Colgate has missed Nate Eaches in the backfield the last two games, falling to 1-3 before Saturday's tilt against Fordham. But the senior back made his return to the lineup and he ran wild. Let's go to Time Warner Cable, Steve Flamish for the play-by-play. 94% of those were touchdowns. McCarty rolls, throws, touchdown. Ed Pavalco, the freshman. Eaches up the middle. Eaches powers into the end zone. Rams do have two timeouts remaining. Metzel rolls, throws, intercepted by Adam Locke. Ball's on the ground. Recovered. Not yet. Not yet. It looked like the Raiders had it. They do. 
Eaches. Eaches, first down. Cuts it inside, and he is down. On first and goal, McCartney. Touchdown. Eaches with Lewis blocking, and it springs Eaches down the near sideline. Eaches inside the 10. As Gavin McCartney shakes off one would be tackler, throws to Kaysen. Touchdown, Raiders. Just a tough runner. So is McCartney inside the five, powering to the end zone. Touchdown. What a day for McCartney. And what a day it was for the Raiders, who put up 38 points and 520 yards of total offense. Nate Eaches finished with 228 yards on 30 carries, and he caught four passes for 55 yards. Gavin McCartney threw for 173 yards and ran for 66, totaling four touchdowns on the day. In other Patriot League action, Holy Cross came up just short against number 7 New Hampshire, falling 39-32, despite quarterback Ryan Taggart throwing for 412 yards and scoring four touchdowns, two passing and two rushing. Holy Cross rallied to tie it at 32 with 2.30 left, but New Hampshire scored the game winner about a minute 20 later. And in Easton, Pennsylvania, the Lafayette Leopards fell to 1-4 after a 31-3 loss to Harvard in their home opener Saturday. The Leopards gave up a late first half score to trail 17-3, and they turned the ball over three times in the loss. This Saturday brings us an interesting Patriot League matchup between Lehigh and the upstart Bucknell Bison. Both enter the game at 4-1, and, and with Bucknell hosting the matchup, it should be a fun game to watch on Bison Vision. Holy Cross, Colgate, Georgetown, and Fordham will all play on the road in non-league games, while Lafayette will have the week off. In women's soccer, Army, Colgate, Lafayette, and Navy all won their league openers on Saturday. Navy pulled off a last-second double overtime win over American, while Colgate blanked Bucknell 3-0. Lafayette edged Lehigh 2-1 to end in 0-24 for and 4 stretch in Patriot League play. At West Point, Army hosted Holy Cross and scored a goal in each half to take care of the Crusaders. Actually, be on who takes this one, bending it in, and into the goal, Kim on sends it in from the far side. Oliver standing just in front of the goal, Bennett sends this one to the back, Helbling jumps up and scores! A great play and a nice hop and a skip from Helbling on a great ball sent in by Bennett along the near side, and Army now on top, 2-0, off of the goal from Aaron Helbling. Senior Monica Lee recorded six saves in the win to collect her eighth win on the season and ninth shutout. On Monday, Lehigh hosted Columbia in a non-league match, and after a scoreless regulation, the two went to overtime where Columbia made a fatal turnover. Freshman Sophie Mayu picked up the loose ball and directed it past the keeper for the 1-0 win. All four 1-0 teams will square off against each other as league play resumes on Friday. Army will host Colgate and Lafayette will host Navy. American will travel to Lehigh and Bucknell will travel to Holy Cross as all four will be looking for their first league win. On Sunday, league play continues with Lafayette, Lehigh, Holy Cross and Army all hosting 1 o'clock games. Last season's star game in men's soccer came down to one Navy goal deciding the outcome. This year, it was no different. Navy dominated the first half and scored the game's only goal in the 16th minute. Forcing a throw in, the mids worked the ball to Alex Wilson, who played a perfect cross through the defense and on the foot of Guy Scored, who one time did inside the right post for his second goal of the season and third of his career. Army was held to four shots in the game as the mids claimed their third straight over the Black Knights. In other Patriot League action on Saturday, Lafayette blanked Holy Cross 2-0, and American moved to 2-0 with a 2-1 win over Bucknell. The defending champion Bison fall to 0-2 in league play. Colgate and Lehigh drew even in a scoreless tie. Army will look to even up with American with six points when they meet at 1 p.m. on Saturday, while Lehigh and Lafayette will each battle for their second league win at 7 p.m. Colgate will travel to Holy Cross and Navy will host Bucknell. Army and American, the last two Patriot League Volleyball champions, are among the favorites to win it this season. And after 2-0 league starts, the two knew that Friday's match at West Point was going to be big. Let's go to Army's Rick Johnson for the recap. Castro will play it up to Vaquero, over her head to Willis. Drives it down and pounds some space on the far side of the court. A great play by Rachel Willis. Mankus pops it up. Vaquero, center of the court, Charka. Nice wide and fine right in the center of the court. And the defending player of the week gives Army their first set win. They take set one, 25-21. The second set would be much like the first, as neither team could build a sizable lead. 
After playing to a 15 all tie, a Morgan Hendricks kill sparked a 7-0 run for the Eagles as they would take the second set 25 to 18. Jarka up to Vaquero, center of the court. Vasquez took off and went right through the block of Hammer and Rochelle. Blast that one over, met by Crum. Hammer has it knocked right back over the top of the net by Jarka and Willis. As Jarka struts back to the team huddle, Army now up by two, 14 to 12. So no more timeouts for the Eagles in the set. A moment of miscommunication, and it'll be an ace for Ariana Mankus. Mankus with another rocket to the back line, on the end line, back-to-back -back aces for Ariana Mankus. Her family's pumped on the far side, and Army now on top by seven, 19 to 12, seven straight points for the Black Knights. A Megan Wilton kill sealed the set for Army. The fourth set featured 17 of the match's 28 ties and 7 of 10 lead changes. With the Eagles having a set point at 24-23, Mankus again would flip the script in Army's favor. Jarka, Vaquero, left side to Mankus, driven down and home, and we're all tied at 24. Dug out by Crum, Hammer, right side to Heath again. This one will be dug out by Vaquero. Here's Fee. Mankus left side, driven down, it'll go out of play, and Army is at match point. But Rebecca Heath tied the set at 25 and would finish it off with a kill as American tied the match at two sets apiece. The Eagles took control in the fifth set, spreading out to a 6-1 lead. The Black Knights would get within two, but American pushed their lead to 13-6. Again, Mankus kept the set alive late, but American took the set and the match with a 15-11 win. In other Patriot League action on Friday, Bucknell, Colgate, and Holy Cross all swept their matches 3-0. Army and Lehigh bounced back from their losses on Friday to collect 3-0 wins on Saturday, while American improved to 4-0 with a 3-1 win at Holy Cross. Colgate also won 3-0 on Saturday to move into a second place tie with Army at 3-1. Each team will play only one league match this week, with Navy hosting American on Thursday and Lehigh hosting Lafayette on Friday. On Saturday, Army and Holy Cross will match up in Worcester, Massachusetts, and Bucknell will travel to Colgate. In field hockey, American, Bucknell, and Lafayette all collected shutouts in their league openers. Lafayette and Bucknell will square off on Saturday at noon with a chance to move to 2-0, while American will look to do the same against Holy Cross. Colgate will travel to Lehigh with both teams searching for their first league win. It didn't rain like it did last year, but the Paul Short run was still a muddy mess. With several nationally ranked teams competing, the mud didn't make it any easier for the Patriot League runners. In the gold race, Lehigh's Evan Koske crossed the line in 10th place, finishing as the league's top runner. Navy's Cody Rome was the next closest league finisher at 26th place. In the women's gold race, there was only one second of separation between last year's league champion from Colgate, Elise DeRue, and her biggest challenger this season, Navy's Jess Palacio. The Navy senior took 30th place, finishing in 21 minutes and 13 seconds, while Elise DeRue was 32nd overall, finishing in 21 minutes and 14 seconds. Colgate's Chris Johnson won the men's brown race, and American's Octavia Reinhardt was the runner-up in the women's brown race. That is our show for this week. We thank you for tuning in here on All Access, and we hope to see you again next week. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you can stay up to date with all the latest news around the league. Enjoy the games this weekend.